Let's take a look at the Siebel IP2013 OpenUI architecture. So what hasn't changed? Well, there's still Siebel web servers. There's still Siebel servers, Penguin or no Penguin, no advertising intended. And there's still a database. Hmm. But there are some new tables. There we go. These new tables in your Siebel database store manifest data which used to be stored in XML file. So it's in the repository tables, manifest data. Hmm. What else? Well, this isn't really new, but of course there are various kinds of files you now need to have to worry about. Let's think for a moment. Well, there's PR and PM files, custom JavaScript files. Let's put a little logo to say that they're JavaScript files. There we go. And of course there will be CSS files probably. New ones which have been added to a theme, for example, or a completely new theme. Nice little icon there. And even though we might not see them that often, or change them, or customize them, there are, of course, the OUI web templates. And let's put in the folder names. So in the Siebel folder slash custom, uh, I'm, uh, I'm putting up these at the Siebel web server level, and the files folder. And of course, your web template folder, which will be OUI web template, the subfolder. And so what does that impact? Well, it impacts the browser. The browser has great fun now because, well, we have a whole new open UI proxy JS layer. We have, of course, all of the standard presentation models, JavaScript files provided by Oracle. And, of course, a whole stack of standard physical renderers provided by Oracle to deliver us the standard, wonderful open UI experience. And this means that uh, the Siebel application has unprecedented levels of access now to the document object model. But it's not just about the standard stuff, is it? Of course, some of these we can customize and extend. So we can create custom physical renderers. So let's put a little green box in here. Green meaning you can change, you can add new stuff. And yes, so we can change that layer. And let's put in a custom PM layer as well. There we go. And a green box. However, of course, we can't change the proxy. We simply leverage it in our presentation models. Well, that's about it. Thanks to all of you who attended uh, Alex's training.